Picks and bands, boys and girls, being brought to you live right now for the first semifinals matchup of the evening that we're going to be bringing to you. Risky Behavior versus Stinger Latum right here. Bands coming out. Risky going to get rid of Sir Ket first and foremost, and then Soul. All righty. Well, I'm just some... Uh, I'd say this is uh, some pretty standard stuff. I mean, nobody wants to deal with Sir Ket, and as everyone else knows, nobody wants to deal, deal with a Soul. Yeah, I mean, Soul, you know what? In my opinion, I... Soul is just, she's interesting. I don't, I don't know if I truly like her in the ADC role yet. Uh, it, she's uh, definitely no, not no, Freya. Not at all. Yeah, she's definitely not Freya. You know, like Freya can really pound down the auto attacks and go in there. But where Soul is like a poke god. She's like, I'm going to poke you and I'm probably going to win my lane, get you out of there and maybe take a tower. But she doesn't really have that, like, that ability to really kill, whereas uh, Freya does. And Zeno, again, back to back, you weren't here, A-Rock. Uh, Risky ran this last time. Zeno ran the hell uh that's yeah. where they banned out the circuit because uh it got picked and went through last time so kepri and circuit banned out along with jingten and soul so uh zeno gonna be looking to run this hell mid again personally i like soul mid as a, a, play, a character by the way just uh just fyi like i think that's where she's best i don't know how i feel about the adc role but um interestingly they don't choose to take an Odin jungle. They they prioritize uh, Geb and Thor. Well, Thor's universal. He's going to fit in any team composition you throw him in. One of the only gods that you can say that with. Not many gods you can be like, hey, I'm going to throw in um, I'm going to throw in, you know, a Loki. He doesn't really fit necessarily right. in every team. Thor is just like the jungler that can do it all right there. He fits in all team compositions. This is the second time we're going to see the Cryon as well. And uh, Famous 8 played him wonderfully last time using the ultimate to perfect effect. And uh, Wubbin ran the Athena last time. I don't know if he plans on rerunning that again, but Bach is being hovered over at this point in time. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, interesting pick on Bacchus as well I, I'm, I wonder what the setup is gonna be here I mean what do, what do you see you know I, I see a lot of drunk people and famous hate getting really mad not able to hit autumns okay I every time I have a Bacchus as a support that's the first thing I think of I'm like damn intoxicated I'm gonna miss all my autos because <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to know where they're gonna go well we'll see how famous ends up doing he's uh he's been in the this position plenty of times before him and Wubbin have worked together plenty of times they should be okay and uh, at the end of the day, I, I feel like they'll do just fine. Surprised that Athena wasn't picked up because it did so well for him last time. Uh, with the Atarba or Artara band picking here, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to get rid of anybody else here at the next banning stage because they got to get their jungler. So they probably want to get rid of like the Hoombots or even maybe the Neja. Gotcha. I would uh, I would think the Hoombots personally like the, the banning yeah the, the Hoombots is obviously a big team fight presence along with the Bacchus intoxicate if you put those two on top of each other I mean oh man that's just whew, that that that's misery for anybody <laughs> Bacchus intoxicate on top of Hoombots ultimate would be really painful right there and there, there, there is the Hoombots ban smart ban by Stinger yeah. uh, making sure they get rid of that and Zeus going to be counter banned as well not wanting to deal with that in the mid lane so is, is Stinger fairly new, or uh, where, is, where is Stinger coming from? Is this... uh, we, well, A-Rock, we had a lot of new teams sign up. We had about 17 teams this week sign up, and honestly, most of them are new. We have a few known teams, Risky Behavior, Slaughter Slugs, and a few other Challenger Cup teams, but uh, a lot of these are brand new teams stepping into a role that uh, is uncommon, and right now they're going to go against Risky Behavior, the second team, or the second yeah, the second place finished team in Challenger Cup uh, last season. So, I mean, they've got their work cut out for them. So, we'll see how they do. They're going to go with the tanky Zhang Kuei in the mid, though. Tanky Zhang Kuei got a Guan Yu coming out for solo. Interesting. You know, I don't. I feel like uh, Guan Yu is making a little bit of a comeback. I've seen him played quite a bit recently. And uh, I feel like he's better than people give credit to. And, and what I'm seeing now is... Oh, Lord, it's Hades. Oh, well... <laughs> Well, so this is a uh, this is going to be the old <laughs> Perdicus. We're running a Perdicus jungle. Skelly is going to be running the Guan Yu jungle right here, and it's going to be Hades yeah. in the solo lane. Uh, it's going to be pushing out anybody they can. I, I really feel like Stinger had their opportunity to pick the Odin if they really wanted to. Maybe they're not comfortable with it, but at this point in time, the Sobek is the only other solo laner that has anti heals, and that yeah. would be. That would be really my option here. If, if, if again, they feel comfortable on the pick or not, Sobek is really your only option for anti heals. Uh, otherwise, this you're is... going to be going there. Yeah, it, it's you almost think that even uncomfortable, you're picking Sobek because you need some sort of anti heals. Because if you get Sobek in solo with a divine ruin, 
that's 90% anti-healing. You go ahead and throw a weakening on them. You know, you're really cutting down on all the healing. Yeah, you know Xenu's going to pick hate, up a heavenly, so. I hate to say it, but, I mean, I feel like risky behavior just outdrafted Stinger, you know, 100% I think, here. Yeah, I, I think uh, the hell pick was first right there with Sirket being banned out instantly, leaving the hell open. Xeno knew what he had to do. Uh, and Stinger decided sure. to pick Thor second which allowed Risky to not ban out the Odin, knowing that that was going to be in the jungle. Because yeah. they probably weren't worried about Odin in the solo lane, in all honesty. Yeah. Uh, you know, because Odin in the solo lane doesn't have as much pressure if the, the hell's going to be in the mid. So at this point in time, I really feel like Risky did, like you said, kind of got the better, better draft strategy. They were able to outsmart him a little bit there. But hey, they play the games on the battlefield of the arenas, right? Or the god, what, what's it called? Battlefield of the gods? There it is. Oh, yep. well, <laughs> well, we got another quick load. This has uh, been killing me all game, guys. So I won't well, be Well, hey, to... we're here. We might as well stay, yeah. right? Like... Well, yeah, I got I to gotta get everyone situated. So I'm going to hit the oh, pause screen right. up here in a second, and uh, we'll be right back as soon as the game starts. All right, guys, here we go. First semifinals match of the day. Risky Behavior, I'll introduce the boys in blue versus Stinger Latinum and A-Rock. We'll introduce the guys in red. We've got Kasi Corey going to be running the Hades solo lane. Skeleton's going to be jungling Guan Yu Pernicus style. Zeno is going to be in the mid lane with the hell. Wubbing going to be jumping around on the Bacchus. Famous 8 going to be hitting all his autos on that half-man, half-horse Chiron. <laughs> half-man, half-horse indeed. And coming in, Stinger Latinum apparently... Uh, which is the Latin, a, a former Latin team, a formal number one Latin team from what I understand. We're going to have Nowies. He's going to be playing the good old-fashioned mid Jean Uh We're going to have Thor in the jungle, Sobek in the solo lane to contest that uh, hell because Lord knows nobody wants to deal with a hell. And in the duo, we're going to have, what is that, Nikki Neal and Critical Punish on Geb and, what is that, Neath? Yeah, yeah Neath. Neath. So, I don't know much about this matchup. Uh, tell me a little bit about Neath versus Chirin. I, I'm going to imagine that, I'm going to imagine that Neath has it as far as the clear at level 3. I mean, backflip into the Spirit Air was pretty much instant clear. Chiron's got the, the training exercise to use, which really can only get, like, the back or front archers unless he places it really perfectly well. Uh, Famous did a great job in the last game that we watched playing this this uh, this god, so we'll see if he's able to execute it again, uh, you know, versus a Geb this time round. So, you know, I feel like the Neath should be fine in this situation playing back. I mean, she's going to be trying to gank that hell in the mid with her ultimate, and it's going to be Thor dunking on top of, like, a Neath ultimate. I mean, that's, you got to stop Xeno from getting big because we all know hell is a ticking time bomb. 25, yeah. 30 minutes in the game, as soon as those numbers hit 25 minutes, I don't care if she's died seven times. If you haven't won the game by then, you're in trouble. Yeah, hell is definitely uh, capable of controlling the late game pretty hard. And uh, we see... Standard stuff coming out here. Xenotronics did get to mid about the same time as now is. Interestingly enough, now is is getting outpushed because I mean it's a hell. So you know he's going to go ahead and there isn't going to be much contention. It looks like on this right side mid camps probably safer. Yep, they're going to go straight to left. Exactly what I would have done. Yeah, no reason to push your luck right there, especially with the double healing composition. Guan Yu into hell is very brutal yeah. right there with the amount of healing that they've got. Uh, nothing to be expected over here. We'll take a look at the right-hand side. Sobek kind of getting pushed in slightly versus the Hades. Uh, kind of there. Even matchup going on over here on the left-hand side. Neat's going to backflip. Wubbin jumps in place to clear the minions. 
Really, that's about it over on. But, you know, it looks like a pretty even matchup in the duo lane as the back harpies on the right side uh, invade for the boys in blue. Yeah, smart play here. They realized they had the pressure. Uh, basically got those for free. You're not going to be able to really contest that uh, as a Thor and a Jean Quay. Now, cool. interestingly enough, uh, I'm, I'm seeing that they're going to go ahead and counter invade, it looks like. Yeah, they had to know that was coming, so they're going to lose. It looks like two minions, three minions to gold are going to be lost right there to the tower. The back harpies will get taken away, but this might be a position where... Uh, Wubbin might be going down here in the duo lane, though. Uh, looks like he's... he's oh, yeah, he's going to get... Hit. He's going to get countered off if Thor can hit a hammer right here. Oh, the hammer will hit, but he uses no wall. Spin to win. He was only level 3. I don't know if he put a point into his wall or not. I'll take a peek. He did, but he decided not to use it against his better oh. judgment, probably. Honestly, if he would have hit the Thor wall into the double tap, into the teleport Berserker Barrage, that combo could have been first blood. But that wasted rotation is actually going to lead to the back harpies on the left being taken away. Yeah, so a little bit of um, a misplay there, loss in experience in gold and uh, loss of back camps. Jean Quay could run into trouble here if he's not careful. Uh, he's going to get blocked off from his mid lane. Uh, you, oh, no, he's just going to walk in the lane. Now he knows no fear, so <laughs> there he's you like, have it. He's like, I'm Jean Quay, man. He's like, I got this ability called exorcism, which you didn't know heals like for all my <laughs> HP. You know, I do things like that. So uh, three out of the four camps end up going to back camps, end up going to blue, which is pretty big. Uh, you know, not too much of a lead. We'll take a quick peek. They did get a little bit of experience, uh, almost about a thousand, and gold's pretty much the same right there. So small little victories coming out for blue. But hey, that's how you start off the game by small victories, and then eventually it turns into a bigger lead. You know, I don't need. I feel like it's a it's a victory, but a short lived one because with these new mid or er, back camp timers, as we know before season three hits, back camp timers are up. They're up so often, it's almost like they didn't lose anything. Because, look, they went back, and they just got back to lane. Back camp timers are up. Both backs are up again. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I do like the change, though. It does feel like you can get more experience right there. Thor hanging out level 5 at the Gold Fury. No ward there yet. So this is kind of the typical Thor gank position. But, hey, man, you're not really going to be ganking a duo lane of Wubbin and Famous without the knowledge that there's probably a Thor at gold. And they kind of have to expect this. But there Thor is in the air, and it goes down. Yeah. But Wubbin does fall to it right there, so Alter Banks is able to get the first blood. Nice dunk in play right there. You know, I'm I'm going to say, I don't know if that was, you know, it's a great first blood. Uh, I think it went to... Uh, went to the Thor. The Thor guy. It, it went to the Thor, okay. Yeah. So, but two ultimates expended there. I think that was a bit of overkill. Now they're going to, they lost a little bit of pressure that they're going to be able to have on this hell. Uh, Neath really didn't have to burn her ult there, I don't think. I think the dunk with the wall and uh, Thor's one should have taken care of most of that. Uh, I mean, it probably would have. You know, better safe to be sorry, I guess. They just wanted to make sure they got that first blood, get a little momentum on their side. So Thor's going to be a little bit ahead of the jungler right now. Left-hand harpies get three-way split. Right-hand harpies went to blue right there. Uh, Guan Yu going to be helping out with the buff on this side of town on the solo lane as all the buff camps are up. So we're going to see the junglers do that as the mid pressure gets a little bit pushed in. Zeno should be able to make it in time to maybe only get one creep loss at a tower right there and should be about it. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Sobek chooses to go into a teleport even though he had lane pressure. Interesting. He wasn't losing uh, lane by any means, and he decided to get the, the teleport and then use it so, right out of the so, game. So for me, when I've been playing solo lane lately, I've, I've been kind of enjoying my solo lane matchups. I will... I, if, I, if I'm if i even in the lead, like, I understand the teleport option, but it's like, buy TP3. That's a really long cooldown. I will actually buy my boots and then go straight into a teleport 3, waste 900 gold, and have the ability to come back and forth every two minutes versus you every four. So that two minutes is huge and the fact that i can just put oh okay i'm down a little health i'll just back and tp back in full health you can't do that uh the investment into like teleport three is really where it's at so surprised to see him like you said use the tp1 with the pressure yeah. if he were to go into like the two or three for the lower cooldown like all right he's trying to go ahead and just get back into it real quick uh, as again zero one read the kills stinger go ahead and put up a fight right now guan gonna get on the horse though we'll see what happens here in the mid lane as the fight continues can he get the stun shield comes out a little early spin to wins there skelly's gonna fall right here but xeno ends up taking the first shot actually skelly survives barely yeah just barely slid out of there by the skin of his teeth his two was used to dash out i i can't believe that wasn't a, a free cleanup but uh overall a solid gank as they're they're doing what they need to do they need to shut down xenotronic stop all farm 
from this man or else it's going to be trouble. That was more like a counter gank as uh, the initiation was on red. You know, they decided to use the Guan Yu ultimate, put a lot into Naoi right there, but Guan Yu, or uh, I mean, Guan Yu has got some damage, but not enough right there as only boots two online, no boots three, not going to really do a lot. Wubbin going to jump in the left, take a little bit of poke, but nothing big. What I'll say is just, I guess they underestimated the tankiness of Zhang. Like they just, they put a lot into Zhang and, well, yeah. the Geb Shield was a little early for the stun, which is what I called out, but ended up really just soaking up a lot of damage and allowed Zhang to get the kill. So, I mean, good play by Critical, actually. Yeah, definitely solid gameplay. Six minutes in, only two kills here. In favor of Stinger, the... I, I don't know how accurate this is, but Stinger. in favor of the, of the uh, Latin American team. So, we'll see how this goes against our uh, Risky Behavior vets here. I mean, Risky Behavior has been in this before. I mean, Challenger Cup, they've played in too many games to not know how to be down 0-2, especially, uh, you know, the Hell's only got one death on her. Uh, again, surprisingly, I guess a, a gank attempt might come here on the right. A story is going to go in the air. We'll take a ride with them. Outer Banks is going to try it. He gets the dunk down. Neath Ultimate is going to connect. There's the hammer. Great use of abilities right there. I love the fact that he dunks down, hammers, then stuns with the wall into Berserker Barrage. Full kit. That's how you play Thor with a combination. Beautiful, beautiful gank by that. Puts them, puts them up another, what, another thousand gold for for them. So it's getting, the stretch is coming, but it's not too bad. Looks like they're trying to go on to Xenotronics here, but he's just going to walk away because, I mean, it's hell. He's he, that. going to three split, split the left harpies. Now, I want to, if you look at ward control, Stinger is playing the ward game, and they're playing it so much better than Risky right now. That's why they're able to make these ganks and make these rotations. Like sentry, this, got sentry, this. sentry. I mean, that's what it is. It's They have several wards placed, and it's a sentry at gold. It's a sentry at the mid harpies. It's a sentry to the right of mid harpies. I mean, that's really what's going to win you this game is the sentry wards. I mean, you can't really win with regular wards anymore. There's just too much counter vision play, and, you know, you get money for getting wards down. I think that was the best thing that Smite did was allow you to get a reward for dewarding. Uh, I mean, I thought that I was a really so. good. Yeah, I love getting 50 gold and last hitting and stealing it away from my guardian my support like hey thanks for that century 50 gold for the adc thank you <laughs> so, so talk so talk to me freight um we've got a sobek here versus a hades in the solo sobek's level 11 uh up one level on the hades uh doesn't look like he's up in items hades did go ahead and uh opt into the e staff uh so Hades just, That's an just early now e caught up. I would have liked the Hades to go into a Warlocks versus the E Staff that early. Get the stacking online, get yourself some tankiness, and get yourself some power with it. The E Staff isn't good until you have a lot of health. Uh, I mean, I'll hover as there might be an invade over here on this red buff here, actually. It's like to see if Webbin's going to do. I wanted to look at the East staff. Webbin might do something. Belter's going to come out. Does he have a stun? He does. Shield comes out over there. Guan Yu's going to do that. And right now, Cataclysm, big fight. Oh, four dunks in right now. Spin to win. Zeno falls again right there. The Naoi's ultimate is doing work. He falls. Skelly might go down as well. Thor going to not be able to teleport through, but the Neath ultimate's going to connect. Rollout will go ahead and get to the right-hand side as Famous and Webbin have to retreat. Stinger putting on a show right now. One to five. Yes, two for one trade there, not in favor of risky behavior, definitely. And just how I was saying, a two for one, make it a two for two as Kasakori goes ahead and solos down the Sobek. So a two for two trade, even though he wasn't in the fight, uh, risky behavior is still showing they got some fight left in them, but by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, you know, this is a pretty crazy. As I was saying, the E staff, really, it's a converted health to power. So, I mean, with 600 health, yeah, you're getting there, but you're not really getting a ton of power until you have other health items online. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that into, like, a Warlock Sash into the E staff, uh, you know, and then, like, going for, like, a magical defense item, either a Bulwarks or even, like, a Pestilence or something along those lines to, you know, get yourself a little bit more health. And then it's, like, a mail renewal, so you really got all the ability to survive. Uh, but, you know, hey, I'm not the one playing it. It looks like he's going to go into the Ethereal Staff into a Spear. This is probably going to be... A, interesting, interesting. Yeah, this is going to be... Shard, I'm going to guess it's going to be Spear, not Shard. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, Spear, not Shard. Uh, looks like we do have a little action at the right mid-camps mid here. Not much. Thor tries to wall him off. Uh, unsuccessful, they do take the mid-camps. Uh, Blue does get that in favor. Got a nice big grouping here that... Looks like some pingings coming out. Zong wants to back. They're going to go ahead and take left mid harpies as well for free. You know, solid on them to get those harpies because once, I mean, that's that's the biggest mechanic is if you're behind and you're not getting mid harpies, you're getting dumpstered basically because mid harpies mean a lot, especially to a hell. So uh, Bacchus invested 900 gold into Shell. 
really, really tired of the John Quick. <laughs> I, I mean, not. I mean, at ten minutes in the game, eleven minutes in the game, you invest nine hundred gold in the shell because that John Quay has cost you every team fight so far. Uh, I mean, it really has. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, we'll take a look at the player damage itself. Uh, other than Hades fighting one v one all the time, I mean, John Quay is top of the damage at forty two hundred right now, uh, and that's because of those team fights ultimates right there. Wubbin's gonna try to make a play over here on a critical. Not gonna matter. Gip Shield comes out, absorb most of that damage, and well, here comes the rest of the police as. The red crew is here and pushing them back. You know, just as we were talking about uh, ward control and vision on the map, it's, it's almost like yeah. they switched roles. I, yeah, I saw that. I was like, yeah, all of a sudden, and uh, here comes the century ward battle at the Gold Fury. This is going to be the point of eject, uh, point of contemption at 10 minutes, in the, or a little bit past 10 minutes in the game here. Uh, going to be worth not too much. Oh, Thor did use his hammer to get in there. They might try to do something here, but with... More players than they have. Wubbit's going to counter ward this right here, so they will take the victory there. Uh, only one more sentry ward in the side of red, and that's going to be from the Neath, and she'll place it, and, well, that will go away again, so red has vision. Yep, so three so sentry wards placed there. A <laughs> little bit of tab dancing here going on. Wubbin's poking, you know, Risky's poking, Stinger's poking, a little bit of little bit of footsies, as they call it in the fighting game world here. I'd like to see... Uh, see them bait this for a fight at this point that'd be what risky needs to maybe not only jump back in the game because they're not too far behind but take the lead uh Skelly's gonna go ahead and dash in he might want to try to get this guan yu talo assault gonna get uh pretty much avoided all that damage with the geb shield being put on there so i mean rollout's gonna pursue but geb just kind of gonna hang out there for the experience and split it with his mid later well i'm gonna go back over here uh i guess at some point he's gonna get another ward he doesn't have one so Thor's yeah, over here would... at the blue buff. I guess Hades has to be careful with no ward coverage on the right hand side, but doesn't feel. Gets, I guess gets yeah. Hades gets the blue buff for free. No, no big deal. You know what I mean. His blue buff, interestingly, is on a different timer. So I think it's because Thor was uh, busy fighting in the mid lane. He's a little bit late to the blue buff per se. Just basically a, a slap box fight here in solo lane. Sobek versus Hades. Nothing too exciting going on. Not even really sure how Hades so. Oh, that's how that all that damage that's, oh that's oh, did, oh the, is hades hit three after he feared is that what he did hit the yeah, power of yeah. souls the power of souls does a lot of damage actually it's a fully uh he's actually leveling up the fear second which is pretty uh some hades do different things it's a longer silence or a longer cc uh and you know it does reduce the cooldown to 11 seconds so that's a possibility but yeah devour of souls can put some work out right there so, I mean, it's going to be doing enough as the mid-fight's going to pursue over here. Harpies are up here on the left-hand side. Thor is going to go up again. Who's his target going to be? He's going to land on the Cataclysm right there. It's a great dunk. Skelly's going to be the target of the Neath Ultimate. Not going to matter. Here goes the Bacchus using the shell. Thor is still on top of Bacchus, but the disengage might be good as Amos is able to get out. So, a couple ultimates down for red. A couple ultimates wasted for red, I would dare say. I mean, I don't know why they committed so heavily just for a mid-camp fight. They are going to go ahead and start up the Gold Fury. Scary Famous has old. Famous has old. He's going to try to go for it. Stinger will get the... Oh, the Gold Fury, though. And now this is the, the counter punch. Zeno gets the double right there. Here comes the triple right here, baby. Atraban's trying to run away. The Thor's got nowhere to go. Famous, the scumbag, steals it, though. And they're going to go ahead and take... The purple buff. He's an ADC. Free, so... He didn't steal anything. ADCs don't steal <laughs> okay. buffs. ADCs on, don't. AD... Oh, forced out beads. One by the Neath. That's huge. Bacchus stun would have done some damage. Wubbin ended up having to uh, use his belt, but that was really good play right there to, to burn out beads. One. Uh, I mean, good teams are going to have that timer down. Only a couple beads available right here. Teleport coming in from the mid lane. The Sobek's going to try to do some work, but this is a pressure that we're talking about. Risky behavior coming back strong right now. Trying to take this tier two tower. They took the tier one just fine. Lurking the water is going to be used to hopefully disengage but Zeno's here to stay he's gonna heal through the rest of the team but Zeno just took a lot of poke from spirit oh. arrow oh I don't think he expected to take that much poke from the spirit arrow Neath is yeah. online with a 50 stack transcendence and that was now not seeing, expected now we're seeing the turn and burn this is what happens when you overstay your welcome they're gonna want to disengage from this and and as a result they might lose their tier one because they stayed a little too long but good old Guan Yu with the heels TP coming in from the Hades Things might oh, be okay. Pillar of Agony is there. Can he get it is the question. He's only got one. Thor goes up in there, not wanting to do. He gets three in the Pillar of Agony right now. Thor is going to have to dunk back down and try to disengage for his team. There goes the uh, Exorcism. The Bag of Demons is going to be popped out, and this is a turnaround fight. 
This is a turnaround fight. The Pillar of Agony looked good, but Thor came down with the dunk and forces everybody out, exchanging a two. They're for so none. low. They're so low on red. They can't go in this. They can't go in the tower though. They are so low right now that they're not able to. And Zeno's coming back up to heal. At the worst, they lose the tier one tower. Honestly, it's been Risky Behavior's victory in experience and gold. Even though they lost gold fear, they got a triple kill. They got a tier one. They got a tier two. Yeah, they dropped another one in Guan right now, and they're gonna drop another one. But it still went into the favor of Risky. If they can do any more cleanup here, this fight is positive. Oh, I don't think they're going to be doing any more cleanup here. They're just firing everyone's, in one yeah, by yeah. one. Everyone's <laughs> just back around. Oh, they're going to get... Oh, Sobek. Okay. Okay, Famous hit yeah, the hardest... Sobek still got dash. Yeah, Famous no hit way. the hardest ability in the game. He hit two on Chiron. So, uh -oh, careful. Never mind. Never yeah. mind. I re retract my previous statement. Xenotronics does pick up Shinto for free, and what happened? Wait, what happened? Why did Hades die? Hello? Why is Hades, uh, Hades jumped in uh, <laughs> after he teleported in. He was trying to fight and save the tower. and Well, he saved the tower. The tower has, if I could actually go over to the tower. I want to see how much HP this tower has. Can I see how much HP it has? I can't. Uh, it has like one HP. It's like nothing. <laughs> it's there. So pretty much Hades died for a dead tower as as we wow, told. But hey, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, hit the, we'll, we'll hit the old graphs button and we'll take a peek. Uh, the, the fight was up and down, but again, it ended up favoring Risky. Really? Interestingly enough, Risky has 3,000 EXP lead, an 800 gold difference, even though it's a 6 to 8 right now in favor of Stinger. Interesting. So now Risky's got the lead in gold and experience. Wow. Well, Guan's going to go ahead and take the Tier 1 tower. That's another 500 gold for the team right there. But, I mean, the Tier 1 in mid will fall pretty shortly right there. I, I, Thor is playing really well right now. I really like the way he's using his abilities to make sure he gets the maximum damage. Wall, hammer into walls, then into Berserker Barrage, and well, right now, oh, big damage by Hades. Pillar of Agony going to do work. Thor hammer having to pop out. Bach is going to jump back in on top of the Sobek, try to stun him out, and he will get a stun. One tower shot taken, and well, that's a lot of damage, and they're going to force out two members of red, and that's going to force a rotation by Zonkwe and the Gep. Wow, talk about taking control. Uh, just out of nowhere. I mean, we were just talking about how well Stinger was playing, what, four and a half minutes ago? Yeah, I mean... Now, all of a sudden, Risky's coming out of nowhere, swinging hard and swinging fast. Yeah, I'm looking at the graphs right here at the Gold Fury mark at 13 and a half minutes. We're like, oh, Stinger's playing great. And then all of a sudden, four minutes later, Risky's like, hey, we don't care if we're down two kills. We've still got the lead. And, you know, Risky's there to play. And honestly, I think Famous Hate's been a big part of being able to go ahead and force out the Gold Fury and get a lot of damage done right there he only has one kill to show for it, but he's got four helpers and well, that's plenty enough as xeno has been getting most of the kills and you want that back on him because he did die early wow so we're we're hitting 20 minutes to in the game i'm seeing actives coming out right okay i really want to see another weakening besides on the geb from stinger they're gonna need at least two at least. Uh, Sobek needs a Divine. Like, Sobek doesn't have Divine. He's got Ethereal Staff and a Breastplate of Valor. That's fine. But, like, Sobek, it, it, it's... The Vine is one of those items that I know, like, no one ever wants to pick up. But 40% reduced healing on top of your Sickle Strike is 90% without weakening. Like, you... you exactly. It, it, it is, like, it, it's a must item on the Sobek to have, especially if you can go ahead and, you know, you're trying to stop this composition. As Gold Fury has spawned again, uh, that was a really long engagement, man. That game's been started at Gold Fury and really has just calmed down now. And Gold Fury has respawned, but here goes the pick potential of blue. And Punish does get caught out. The shield's not going to be enough. The Cataclysm barely makes it out. Pillar of Agony picks up two. Great Pillar of Agony. Thor's going to have to try to spin to win out of there. Skeleton picks up now. He's Famous Hate picks up Adder's Banks. And Neath is going to get done down. The heals. No the pain. heals. The heals are too good. Again, no anti-healing other than one weakening. Here it goes. Neath is going to fall. It doesn't matter. Skelly picks it up. Free Gold Fury for blue. Risky behavior showing that they've got what it takes to come back. They're not. Are they? Are they going to Fire? F oh, fire? I would, I would fire? assume it now. I would assume it. Sobex, Sobex, Sobex at the Gold Fury going, wait, wait, where they go? <laughs> are they are they going to yeah. fire? <laughs> I mean, lurking in, the, lurking in the water is not up, and they know it. No steel potential there. Hades is just going to block out Sobek. This is free. This I mean, is this is a free. really good 20-minute fire giant. Bach is taking a little bit of poke, about, you know, drop down a couple HP. But again, Zeno and, I mean, Skelly able to just heal all this back up. Doesn't really matter. Bach is making sure that he gets a stun off. Not going to be able to do it. They got to burn it down quick. Do they have enough damage? Famous is doing what he can. Oh, the pluck comes through. But Risky will get it. Now comes the cavalry charge. They're going to get this. Oh, but Lurking the Water came just back up in time. Not going to matter. Xenotronics is going to pick up that kill right there. Five kills to Xenotronics as he died. The first three all of a sudden making a comeback. 
Yeah, and just as we were saying, this is a close game. No more. At 20 minutes, we've got an 8,000 EXP swing in favor of Risky and a 3,600 gold difference in favor that of Risky That happened well. so fast. And they're going to get Gold Fury for absolutely free. That was an... Uh, I mean, it all started from a Gold Fury that was at the 10-minute mark. Or, you know, the 12-minute mark or whatever. It started from a exactly. Gold Fury. It was like a weird fate bite, you know... Fight that happened, got a tier two out of it, led to a tier one down in middle almost, and then just ended up expanding into a fire giant fight. Really, uh, I mean, unreal. Actually, like I said, they were able to get that pick off. They just kind of baited around that corner. Felt bad for Geb as he just got Bacchus jumped and left on. <laughs> so, what does Stinger now need to do to bring themselves back into this game, Freight? What do we, uh, what do we what do they need to see? They got a fire giant. They got a gold fury. You know, they're bar they're probably planning on barreling down mid pretty quick here. You got three but, towers, oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Both towers are still up in duo. Okay, we still yeah. have one tower up in solo. So it, it's it's all really right now. Lost. All the jungle is gone right now. I mean, so you have no farming potential. The only thing you can do is go ahead and stay by your tier twos if you can, and go ahead and try to farm up. They're going to take a tower. They they have way too much siege potential right now. And again, Sobek is going into another weakening. It looks like he's got a creeping curse getting popped over here. Uh, but again, magical focus. He has a spear. I'm guessing this is going to lead into a spear as well, not into a life, not into a divine. So tier one on the left goes down for free. I mean, it, it's group up time for red and it's like hold your phoenix time for red i mean that's what you have to do but there's just too much healing right now yeah agreed and on top of that still no anti-healing i mean i guess jean quay is level 16 he's got a divine ruin but you know jean quay can only do so much before i, I don't like the divine yeah I, I don't like the divine at all on the jean i think that the cataclysm gonna come in gonna get two beats gonna pop out by the hades zeno's gonna go ahead and cleanse that out thor is up in the air he might try to dunk on zeno there goes the weakening curse gonna get popped shell is there as well misses the dunk oh but the spinner will get three right there bach is gonna get two intoxicate's gonna get a bunch cavalry charge is gonna try to do some damage he's gonna stun out the neath but beats are gonna be pre-popped there goes lurking the water this is a huge team fight pillar of agony is doing a bunch of damage no no one is dying right now. Wubbin is the closest to it. Everyone's trying to heal him, and now he gets the kill on Hades first? Wow. Even though they're so healthy, even though... Even though they're so low, but the, the ult from Famous Hate did come out, wasn't able to pick up anyone, and they turn this around. Stinger is holding their ground. They say, hell no, we won't go. This is our Phoenix. What a defensive play from them. They traded two for one. Well uh, yeah, all day. Yeah, that was well a really played. good defense. That's exactly. They grouped up on the left. They fought it really well. Used their actors at the right time, and everything was done. Skelly might get picked off. Oh, Neath all the way to come through. He is going to get stunned. Knockup going to do a lot of damage. Gib trying to body block. I love the positioning, but well, he just got. Skelly's he, not going anywhere. Yeah, he Skelly's got. Not going anywhere. Uh, well, Skelly's running, man. He's trying. He, yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna get out of that. He's not. Gonna, Skelly, Skelly's not. Skelly's not dying, man. Skelly. He's still Skelly's like mid harpies. Too many heals. Yeah. Mid harpies, heals, bro. Got fire I want, giant. It's too much. Yeah, I want my I want my mid harpies first off. So twelve to ten lead the the kills is risky now coming back. I mean, it's still a pretty decent goal and XP lead for the boys in blue. Uh that little throw at the Phoenix wasn't that big of a deal, but I mean it does show that Stinger can fight through this. Uh, again, what I was saying with the Zhang, the Divine Ruin just I, I just feel like sick, sickle strike with Divine is just so much better than forty percent anti healing. On top of, you know, the the genre. Like, yeah, you're going to use it with a ghost, and I guess it's some anti-healing with that. But I still feel like Sickening Strike is such a big cone, an AoE effect, that you can hit multiple players. Yeah, I believe that Sickening Strike is probably as, just how we were talking about, hey, can Silbeck get some anti-healing? Nope, looks like he's going for more damage as he's going to pick up a Ward Stone, 30 magic power, reducing that magic protection. So... I think Sobek's really just going to be the utility here. Try to let his team do a lot of the work. Let's see if they can defend this tier 2, though, as the push goes on. Well, 1,500 gold going to go the way of blue right there. Tier 2 going to fall. Fire Giant buff still... Actually, no, it is down on everybody right now as it respawns mm -hmm. in about 30 seconds. So, uh, well, they what did they get in that Fire Giant buff? They got two tier... They pretty much got all the towers down with the Fire Giant buff, realistically. So they've made Correct. their first claim. It's 25 minutes in the game. Uh, right now, this next Fire Giant kind of decides the game at this point. Stinger can easily push down one lane in mid or do or solo and end if they get Fire Giant to win the fight. But the same could be said, for obviously, for Blue when they've only got Phoenixes up. So, I mean, so, anybody... Yeah, this next big team fight at FG is probably going to end up being the deciding factor. Who, who does Stinger need to be looking at in this next fight? 
Who's singer need to focus down to win? Oh, you this need to get rid of hell. And turn this game around. You need to get rid of hell first and foremost. I mean, they were able to do it last time pretty well. I mean, they weren't able to heal up Wubbin. Uh, Wubbin just hasn't been. I, I really uh -oh. would have liked the probably uh, an Athena here. Is it would have been a little bit better off. But Hades beads popped early right there. That's beads to 130 seconds down. The only other player that doesn't have so there's two shells on the side of blue. They got a Guan and they've got a, a Bacchus with shell. They really don't want to deal with any of the pressure of the Zonkwe Ghost. I mean, they are not trying to have that at all. So now, again, we're doing the footsie dance here. Who's going to be the first to initiate? Who's going in first? We, the level difference is significant. Is it really going to make that big of a difference? Belch does come out. He's trying to find a stun. Uh-oh. What are oh, you doing, Zonkwe? Zonkwe. Now, what are you doing? Zonkwe seems to be... I think Zonkwe DC. He, oh, wait, oh, no. Respect. Okay. Respect. Hold on. I think that we got a respect right here. Yeah, they're clapping. Okay, we have a respect. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they yeah. realize that now he says DC'd and... Well, <laughs> they're all surrounding. <laughs> <laughs> they're all surrounding him. <laughs> they're all surrounding now. Is that if he does move and attempts to attack, they're gonna well, they're gonna screw him pretty hard. So yeah. hopefully now he's just, like recognizes this fact that he'll just walk away nice and soft. But we do have a pause coming out, obviously, as now he's DC. Uh, I well played, D nice respect job, risky realizing that that was. Not at all what Zhang was supposed to be doing. <laughs> it was like, what is Zhang just walking forward for? So, uh, yeah, that that's going to be a quick pause right there. So they'll use one of their timeouts there. Uh, right now, again, 26-minute game. This is the fight that's going to deter it. I hope this DC, you know, I guess it looks like he's back in. Hopefully this is a reset and, you know, they get back to it. But this is going to be the fight. This is it. This is going to be, this is, it's the final countdown. But seriously, it's going to be... This game, this fight here is going to decide now if Stinger can manage to focus down hell, burst down hell, and get her out of that fight without fo you know focusing too much attention and losing too many members while trying to kill her. It's going to be huge. The fight's going to swing definitely in favor of them because they got Geb Shield. They got a Sobek to interrupt with that lurk lurking in the waters. They've got a Neath to just be on the outside, be annoying, do what Neath does is stun people with the spirit arrow. And they've got Thor Dunk who just does insane damage. And here we go. We're live. We're about to find out. Oh, well, the respect was real right there. Now is going to go ahead and back up. It seems like everything's going to be good. They're going to reset. So, I mean, well played. I mean, nice respect by both teams. You don't want to win on a technicality of a guy just auto-walking in there. So, uh, now Wiz is going to back right there and heal back up. Skelly's going to get a little bit of poke taken out right there. Just it's kind of going to laugh that off, honestly, as like Juan Yu. Exactly. I think uh, now they're just basically reforming, resetting. Probably going to gesture towards this fire giant still. Uh this is where... Well, Famous me, is on the left, yeah. Famous is all the way on the left. It's, it's a little... I was going to yeah. say, if I had wards, and I knew Famous was... On, if I had wards, the story of every game ever. If there was wards on the map, <laughs> and you knew, you would say... I would say, get in there and go now. Famous at, hate... As a caster, a, as a caster, we have that ability to have this wonderful third-person over-the-head you that's know, perspective right. that's like, hey, I see Famous all the way on the left-hand side. They don't have their carry. You should probably attack right now. And, well, they don't have that luxury, <laughs> but, but, you know... You know but you know what? They didn't have wards, so it's still their fault. They would have known it's, if they had wards. If they warded that purple buff at tier one, yeah, it would have been good. <laughs> I'm telling you, let me, boy, if you don't ward that purple buff. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's no, all... it's, this is the grouping. This is it. Yeah, we're Are pretty they much round two. Yeah. Are they going yeah. to make us talk about how much they're going to dance around? Well, I feel like this is round two. I think everyone like just took like the sixty second time out of like that DC, got healed back up, got buffs, and we're like, all right, we're ready to go to Fire Giant now. Uh, ooh, Man, almost stopped awesome. the back of Sobo. Zeno's like, really? Zeno's got to be like claiming B. You know, he's got to be like a little lag right there. As uh, famous is going to start this up. We'll see if here he's able go. to tank it out right there. Doesn't get knocked up by the first time. Zeno's here to heal him up. So right now we got three zoning out with famous just doing the attack, and, and it looks like this might be good so far. About half HP is gone, and. Amos is doing some work, but here comes the Geb and the rest of the team trying to make their way in. Get in there, boys. You're not going to be able to do it. There's the Oh, they disengage in the pop of the heavenly, yeah. They just get off of it. Here comes the fight. The ult is coming out from Jean Quay. Lurking in the waters. Burst down Genotronics, forcing him out. Are they going to be able to find it? But Pillar of Agony picks up three. What a what a move. Thor dunks down. Everybody's low. Kasakori, Famous Hate, pick up two. Shinto picks up Xenotronics. Are they going to be able to turn this around? Famous Hate gets a double, but Critical says, hey, I want one in the back for me. Oh, back up into a wall. This Feels bad. bad. Triple, triple kill triple by Famous kill. Hate. Well, you can't really wow. do anything. Giddy Up's going to be used right here, and skillfully Famous is going to hit two to poke out some more right there. I just, I love that too. Just like, hey, auto damage. <laughs> as long as I hit you with one auto attack, I get damage right now. So, we'll see the Fire Giant at full HP get reset, and I don't feel like there's anything Geb can do. 
He's going to have to risk his life. He's probably just going to roll in oh, and yeah. try for a knockup steal no, no, no. here. Oh, I want, he's just going to back. I want a blank cataclysm. I uh, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have a. He oh, doesn't have cata. He it. Yeah, he doesn't have cata. He gets a pestilence instead. He chooses to back. Uh, you know, just giving up a free fire giant. They held out once. Maybe they'll hold out again. They're thinking Robin, at this point. Please. Wubbin, Wubbin, he's just like, I'm Bacchus, he's drunk, he's just jumping up and down, it's, it's Bacchus. Stop getting knocked up, Wubbin. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, so, that was a free fire giant, a fight that went in favor of risky behavior, I thought it was going to be good, but let me tell you what turned that fight around, that pillar of agony was so, I wish we had oh, replays. Huge. Yeah, it was huge. That, that pillar, pillar of agony was, was monstrous. I'll tell you one thing, I like what the, <laughs> the SPL did in uh, the regionals with like the in-game replays. That was something that was pretty hype right there, able to see like those plays backwards that were like, oh man, this is what just happened, it was pretty crazy. And you know, At some point in time, I'll have like seven computers in my own little mini high-res studio <laughs> with Smite stuff, and I'll get that taken care of with like 20 monitors, three accounts, and we'll be good to go. But until that point okay. comes around, you know... I don't, I don't get Calm replays, down, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can do over here. Purple buff going to be taken over here on the left-hand side. Still a lot of towers remaining for blue, so they're in a position right now. And, well, 9,000 gold and 12,000 experience is their lead. Uh, they were down early, but not now completely out of the game as Stinger has just kind of let them fall back in the game. And, well, we kind of said earlier, once 25 minutes hits 30 minutes, I don't yeah. care if Hell's died seven times. She's an issue, and, well, hell's an issue. Exactly. Hell is now the issue, but they are taking the necessary precautions. Sobek and Geb do now have a weakening curse, so not too bad here. Uh, not sure why Sobek didn't choose to go, uh, you know, into some more anti-heal, but, hey, you know, to each their own. They do have the, the Divine Ruin on Zhang. Maybe they're thinking, hey, Zhang can run in and ult. Maybe that's good enough. So here we are. We're prepping up for the big push. To the Phoenixes. Well, Will Singer be able to hold this again now that everybody's up with Fire Giant? Well, I mean, they tried the left-hand Phoenix last time. They're going to go for round two right here. And... Oh, this Let's is see what happens. A... I'm I expecting Casacorn kinda... to initiate. That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting Casacorn yeah. to dash in. It's going to be either that or Calvary that's going to have to be in the initiation. Bacchus doesn't want to jump... Bacchus doesn't want to jump in there and leave himself, like, absolutely useless. He wants to use his jump for a disengage knockup right here. But in the mid lane, Skelly's going to go ahead and it's a 2v2. Taking a lot of damage. Pluck's uh -oh. going to be good. He's going to have to dash out. Took about half his HP right there. But the Off heals the heavenly, should be too. okay. Yeah, just to get out of there. Big ultimate, though, comes out by the Sobek. Or, uh, I should say, by Bacchus. And that's going to be a cleanup. Critical goes down. That's their support. No Gepshit available. And now the team fight's turning in Blue's favor. But Wubbin's by himself uh -oh. in the back line. Wubbin is going to fall. Skelly is next on the list. But Zeno's able to try to heal him back up right now. And oh, it's 4v4. Oh, look. Everybody's back to full health. There's it's 4v4. Let's see what happens, man. They have a hell. They have the advantage. Everybody's, but they do have the fountain. I guess that's the equivalent to a hell, right? The fountain. That's it's right there. there. I mean, I it is. It is, it is <laughs> right there. Calvary charge is down. The only ultimate available is Xenotronics. As well, hell doesn't really have an ultimate. She just has a stance switch right there. So four members. The only ultimate available on the side of red is the the ADC, and that's only a stun. But right now, oh, big stun coming out. The damage is there. Pillar, of, or I should say, the Devourer Soul is not enough, and Zeno gets now. He's in. That's huge. That was the issue that they were having. Here we go. This is a free Phoenix. For... Now, he is going to dash in. Fear him. Oh, oh my goodness. He has, like, Tal no Oh, Talu Assault doesn't connect his oh, oh, pull. Oh, oh. oh. The, that. the fling of the gods as Thor dunks down, lurking in the waters. Zeno wants blood. He wants to kill oh, everyone, yeah. but he can't because he's being stunned out by... <laughs> Double healing! Oh, there goes the weakening curse. Not gonna really heal anymore. At least oh. up to forty percent less. Skelly's gonna get chased the whole time. Hades is in mid trying to do this. Chiron is just backing. He doesn't want to fight any of this. Famous eight, full health, full mana. Chooses the ladder of letting his team just go. And well, Hades is on the right, relatively full health, mostly full man. He's got about half his mana left. And Wubbin's there, so three members will stand. Left Phoenix falls. I'd say Stinger is like not giving up these Phoenixes at all. So yet again, Stinger makes a solid play here. Stinger said, no, you are not getting this for free. They they waited. They saved their ultimates. They held their moves. Fire Giant, everybody's, no, nobody's got anymore. It's going to be coming back up soon. Well played by them. 
I, I don't know what else to say. Stinger's playing a solid game here. Yeah, Even the, though they are down, they're not giving up without a fight. The one thing I am seeing there right here is if you look at the cooldown timers, four seconds apart are the weakening curses. I don't know if that was obviously intentional, but they want to make sure those are staggered. You want to make sure that weakening is used all the way for the full five seconds, at least as long as possible. Uh, and I feel like they did that pretty well, being that that's what the cooldowns were. If they can keep that up and kind of stagger those anti-heals within those five or six second radiuses, uh -oh. uh, you know, they they're can do some work right trouble. here oh yeah i mean famous hate doesn't yeah, too bad famous hate doesn't miss he's 8 0 and 10 i mean it's it's famous hate he's gonna go ahead and just back at this point in time and uh fire giant again spawning in about three seconds here so 35 minute game we are you know right now looking at it looked like it was gonna end at like 25 minutes at first with the left phoenix but they held and looked like it might have been an end at 30 minutes and they held but you know they do yeah. have a phoenix loss right here and well I, I feel like if it wasn't for the double healing comp, they might be out of this. Yeah, and fully agreed there. I feel like Stinger might have taken this game from Risky, like you said. Stinger may have taken this game from Risky. Shoutouts to Thor, though, for playing so well all game. Just noticed my man's got a Brawler's Beat Stick. I'm down. Oh, I'm yeah, so yeah. I'm down for that. If I was the Neath, I probably would have ended up... I, you know, it, it's hard to deny crit at any point in time. But it's sure. like, hey, if you're going against a lot of healing, you know, you have so much. Honestly, going into a more of a pen build, the hammers, and into like a brawler's beat stick might have even been better. It's it's just a situation, depending on what you're fighting. As the fire giant fight continues, the fire giant is winning currently as it's knocking yeah. up people and <laughs> doing damage. I would say the fire giant has top DPS at this point in time. Double heavenly popped. Here we go. The... The cavalry charge does come out. Sobex lurking in the waters. Pillar of Agony's out. Xenotronics picks up Shinto. No pill no lurking in the waters for you. Xenotronics is doing so much work with all these heals, and that's too bad. Now he comes down. A nice dunk from Airbanks, but it's not gonna be enough because Xenotronics is hell and he's healing. No escape by famous hate. Nick and Neil is the last one left. This could that's be the game. You see, that's where a situation where both teams pop both of the same actives at the same time and kind of hurt themselves. Both heavenlies were popped and putting themselves in awkward positions, but both weakenings were popped at the same time and put them in an awkward position. Once they ran out, Skelly and Xeno were able to steal right back up and were fine with it. They're like, oh, five seconds is over. Here's all our HP back. No problem. That's, again, small little things, but that's so tough to communicate in the middle of a fight. Hey, I'm going to pop my heavenly or, you know, my weakening first. It, it, it's, it's so minute of a thing, but it really helps in these engagements that are going to last 10, 15 seconds want to try to limit as much anti-healing as possible but fire giant's going to go free to blue again yeah fire giant's definitely going to be free and i don't think they're going to be able to stop this next push as they're going to go ahead and back just taking a look quick look at everything here just so you know the viewer at home can get us idea it's 22 in favor to 15 in favor of risky behavior the exp difference is 16k now gold difference is 13k not you got to remember not everybody's fully built here we've still got a level 19 thor who has Working on a Hide of the Urchin, we've still got a level 20, Jean Quay, who's working on probably a Kronos Pendant, maybe? Maybe a Kronos Pendant? Yeah, I'm going to say be, a Kronos Pendant. It's either that or Rod. He might, might go into a Rod into like a Soul Reaver. That, that'd be about it. I but most really important of all, their Neath, who is level 20, does not have all her items finished. That's so huge in the end of a game for a Neath, not your ADC, your carry, not to be fully built. Well, let's take a look at Golden Hand, actually, if we can do that. Golden Hand, 960. So she is um, a few hundred gold still short of that Deathbringer right now. It's at 1650. So she's got a little bit more farming to go at this point in time. Uh, hopefully she's able to get it online before the next big engagement. Left Phoenix does come up right now. Fire minions are all the way eliminated on the left-hand side. So they don't have too much worry about that, but there is a wave coming in which they'll take care of real fast. So it's going to be a weakened Phoenix on the left-hand side. Risky behavior doing what risky behavior does, what veteran teams do, taking away objectives that are on the map and available for them. They'll go ahead and eliminate the Gold Fury so there's less of a comeback potential for Stinger if they do happen to, you know, throw this push, per se. So I'll ask it again. What does Stinger need to do to bring themselves back into this game? Risky behavior still has three towers. Uh, no Phoenix is down. I mean, not even touched. They're feeling pretty confident right now because Hell is, well, oh my god, she's Hell. And she can't die with her male of invincibility. Might as well call it that. So what do they need to do to win a fight, you know, besides get rid of Hell, and and really bring this, turn this around in their favor? 
I mean, besides get rid of Hell, if you're not going to focus down Hell, get rid of Famous. He has an Aegis now. He has beads. It's going to be kind of tough. But, I mean, he is swinging right now, Famous. He is doing a lot of damage. Hades actually has top of the charts at 32k, which is really surprising. Uh, I didn't realize oh, he was putting that much work into it right there. But oh, he man, is, he's yeah. some sick pillar of agonies, man. Have you seen yeah. the man? Like... I mean, I have. Yeah, I didn't realize they were doing that much damage. But uh, ADC Famous Hades is doing the third most damage on, or overall. Big Cataclysm. That's going to be four. Here's a fight, though, potential crushing or critical punish is going to fall for the pillar of agony but the shell comes out can he get it koski gets that skelly Don gets the second one weakening his pop right now there goes the sobek getting a kill on Zeno. the one healer down one to go though is the question burp comes out for the stun famous cleans that up koski cleans surrender vote is there that's pretty much gg as right now neath is the only one available belly pop gonna get it oh famous through the wall with all those shots on his ultimate please well played yeah, game by saying it man yeah. 40 minute game pretty much 9 39 to 39 minutes and 12 seconds 27 to 16 couldn't ask for a better semifinals matchup we have the finals coming up next for a best of three but we'll see risky behavior versus the next semifinals winner we'll find out shortly enough stick tuned with us friday night smite we'll be back soon